So how do you easily create moving time lapses? In this video, I review the smooth panning time lapse gadget called the Genie Mini, coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do video gear reviews, audio, lighting, and even time-lapse tools just like this one. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe. And remember that at any point during the video, check out all the show notes and links of everything talked about in the description section below. Let's get into the review. So the Genie Mini is a pocket-sized motion controller that is operated by a mobile app over Bluetooth. I first heard about the Genie Mini at CES, saw it demoed there and was like, I have to test this out. So the Genie Mini is pretty much compatible with every camera. You just get the right cable and you can connect from the Genie Mini to your camera and do time lapses with still photos or you can also use it for video panning. And in either case, you essentially just say, start here and end here and you can set up really simple, easy to use app to say, how fast it's going and things like that. And then when you say go, this is video mode and it just starts to pan from the start point to the end point. So it's super simple and easy to use if you're just new to time lapses like me. This is actually my first time doing motion time lapses, but it also has plenty of features and customizability if you're a professional and doing more advanced stuff. And what I love about the whole experience is that motion time lapses were kind of intimidating to me because I was like setting up all the intervals and figuring it all out, but the app just literally walks you through it step by step. And so it kind of took out any complexity and just allowed me to focus on creating. So for my first test, I used a Canon 70D and I'm just using this as an example because I'm shooting with the 70D right now. But I just hooked it up to the Genie Mini with a 1C cable that they provided based on the compatibility with my camera and then shot still photos and compiled them together using QuickTime Pro. And what's super cool is there's like presets. So you can select people, clouds, stars, and so I just selected clouds. So I was able to test out this setup in Hollywood as well as back here in Vegas, but I had to bail on the shoots here because of flash flood warnings and lightning. For the second test, I tested out the video panning and I just used a Canon G7X and just selected the start point, the end point, and how fast the pan was gonna be, hit record, and made some video pans. So for the third test, I used the Genie Mini, a Mi Photo Sidekick 360, which is like a cool uh, smartphone tripod thingy, and then I used my iPhone. And what I did was I put it on the video setting, and then I put it on as slow as possible, and selected the start point and the end point at like 1% speed, and then started the time lapse on the iPhone, and then started the Genie Mini on the iPhone, and just use the basic time lapse video setting that's included with an iPhone. I also experimented with tilting the tripod head sideways and kind of doing an up panning shot with the iPhone. So you can see that there's a lot of different customizability and different ways and things that you could do depending on what cameras you have and what kind of gear that you could combine your Genie Mini with. So here are a few observations and kind of my first impressions of this. Number one, the build quality is amazing. The cork is really nice to just screw on and off with your camera. It's built pretty indestructible. And so for on the go, outdoor shoots and things like that, super solid. Secondly, it's super easy and straightforward to set up. After just a few seconds with the app and the uh, Genie Mini itself, you'll just get the hang of it right away. Third, I did read some reviews of people reporting that the app was a little bit sketchy, but right when I downloaded it, it had a bunch of updates that it installed really quickly. And as far as just pairing and, and uh, quickly pairing and things like that, everything just was really seamless and straightforward and worked great. Which side note, I'm using an iPhone 6. 
And then at CES, I actually saw that you can pair two of these together to get a more dynamic motion uh, time lapse. So it's just something that's kind of cool. Now the one challenge that I had with the Genie Mini was getting level shots. And so what I kind of learned was that with my tripod, I really wanted to use the leveling features and pre-plan the shot so that I didn't just kind of set it up freestyle and have it kind of skew. And so you probably noticed some of my time lapses that they, they weren't perfectly level, but that's something that I'm getting better at and I'm learning and I'm super excited to keep testing this out and getting even better time lapses uh, as I continue to learn and grow. Now the retail price for the Genie Mini is 249 USD and you can grab it on BH, you can get it on the SERP website and it comes with one free connection cable. And so on the website, you can have a drop down window, pick your camera, or you can grab it on Amazon, take advantage of prime shipping and just make sure that you pick out the right cable when you're ordering. And so I'll link up the one that I use on Amazon, the 1C, and that's pretty basic and standard and that connects with my Canon 70D or the 60D. Question of the day, what gear do you use for shooting time lapses or what time lapse tips do you have? Definitely post those in the comments below and remember that some of the best tips and feedback comes from you, the Think Media TV community. So connect with everybody else in the comments section. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's a free guide I put together that just breaks down the best cameras, lenses, lighting for any budget. And you can grab that for free. I'll throw it in the description below as well as link it up on the YouTube card as well. If you appreciated this video, I'd love it if you hit the like button. Let me know future videos or products you'd want to see reviewed in the comment section below. And until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Are we ready? Check, check, shoot this video. hey Let's get into the review. Cheesy, I know.